everyone! Welcome to the Lawrence at Home. My name is Fira and I'm one of the educators from the Lawrence Hall of Science and welcome to today's story time. And today we're doing another episode of Stories in STEAM where we share the stories of scientists to highlight and recognize their achievements. And before we begin, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Lawrence for more science content. Now without further ado, let's get into the story. So today we're going to read the story of Margaret Geller and the map of the universe. So Margaret John Geller is an American astrophysicist at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. She is a pioneer at mapping the nearby universe. So Geller is known for her research and work in cosmology and astronomy, but also for her films and lectures for public education. So how exactly did Geller map the universe and what exactly did she discover? I hope you are as curious as I am. So let's move on with the story. So Geller was born on December 8, 1947 in Ithaca, New York. She received her bachelor's degree in physics from UC Berkeley in 1970s. So Geller is a part of our very own UC Berkeley family. And you know what? As a golden bear myself, I feel pretty proud that I go to the same university as someone as brilliant as Margaret Geller. So at first, she thought about studying solid state physics in graduate school, but her professor suggested her to study astrophysics instead. So she continued her studies in Princeton University to obtain her master's and PhD with a dissertation in astronomy. So after completing her education, her scientific career began with a research fellowship at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. And then she got another fellowship at the Institute of Astronomy in Cambridge, England. So at this point, Geller was full on pursuing astronomy as a career. Then afterwards, she started working as an assistant professor in Harvard University then she became a, per a permanent staff in the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. During her career, she collaborated a lot with the astronomer John P. Hutra. In the 1980s, Hutra and Geller made a hypothesis about a three-dimensional mapping of the universe. So they're basically aiming to create a map of the universe. And they worked on this project for over five years before presenting the result in 1986. These pioneering maps provided us with a new view of the huge pattern in the distribution of galaxies. And it also led to the discovery of the Great Wall. And no, not this Great Wall, but this Great Wall. The Great Wall, the astronomical Great Wall. <laughs> So also known as the Coma Wall or the CFA2 Great Wall, this is a type of galaxy filament. It is 200 million light years in width and 16 million light years in thickness. It is immensely huge and is one of the largest known superstructures in the observable universe. So that was amazing discovery. And to this day, she's still very involved in research. One of the projects that she's currently leading is the Shells Project, which looks into mapping how dark matter is distributed throughout the universe. She is also working with the MMT Observatory on a project called Hecto Map, where she is conducting a more distant survey of the Middle Age universe. So I think we can see from the research and the project that she's leading and involved in that she is very, very invested in her work to map the universe. So Geller's long range scientific goals are to fully discover how the universe looks like, as well as to understand how the universe came to have the rich patterns that we can see today. And in addition to that, she also studies the relationship between galaxies and their environment and the development and applications of methods for measuring the distribution of matter in the universe. But in addition to her scientific feats, Geller also produced several award-winning films for public education. 
So not only is she doing all of this research and making new discoveries, but she's also teaching astronomy to others through her films. And one of her films, Where the Galaxies Are, is her eight minute video that shows the first, the first graphic voyage of the universe, earning a CINE Golden Eagle Award. And then the graphics in her later 40 minute film called So Many Galaxies, So Little Time, also received a couple of awards and was displayed at the National Air and Space Museum. Then in addition to films, Geller is also known for her public lectures. She had lectured extensively to plenty of public audiences around the world, to the point where NPR included her in the list of the best commencement speeches ever. So from this, we can see how Geller is an excellent speaker and she also loves sharing her knowledge and wisdom to others. So for all her work and research, Geller has received several awards. In 1989, she and Hatra were awarded the Newcomb Cleveland Prize of the American Association for the Advan Advancement of Science for Mapping the Universe. She also received plenty of other awards and honors for her contributions, such as the James Craig Watson Medal from the National Academy of Sciences and the Julius Edgar Lilienfeld Prize from the American Physical Society. So Geller is an amazing astrophysicist and her maps continue to inspire and allow us to discover more about the universe that we live in. And with that, we've reached the end of our story time today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the story of Margaret Geller. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to show some support. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.